Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Legends, I'm Nye. I'm Miko, and I was just looking at the scroll by as you were sitting there, and the, the cheaters are so blatantly obvious when the top four spots are occupied by zero, 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 zero. Oh, one, one of them that I was watching, I think it was the beginning of last episode, all, of them, all five spots were op occupied by zero. Yeah. Kind of sad, really, but... But, I mean, it's one of those things where the game has been out for, you know, a year... Ubisoft doesn't really care all that much anymore. Nope, missed it. Damn it. Oh, Ubisoft's had their hands full fixing the uh, Assassin's Creed fiasco anyway. Well, this came out like a year ago, so. Well, that's that what wasn't I said. A Even if that was just, that, that's what I meant, like, you know, in comparison, their resources have been moved elsewhere. Right. Oh, ah, nope. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, it'd be nice to see. Speaking of which, have you heard the story about about how big the, the patch is, is going to be on the uh, on the console versions? Nope, haven't paid any attention because I uh, don't actually play the game. Huh. I um, have a copy of it that I was given on my Xbox One that I haven't played yet because other games have been around. Oh, that's fair. From what I understand, basically there was there was a number of different glitches. Like I've been, I have a copy that I've not been able to play because of the glitches. They just released a patch for it. For the PC, it's about six gigs, which tells you how bad it was. For the console versions, it's just a piddling little forty gigs. I think there's a reason for that. I think it's because the console versions are badly optimized. Probably. I'm just I'm actually waiting for Rogue to come out cuz if you ever played Black Flag like you would understand why everybody loves Black Flag and Rogue. Yeah, I haven't actually played it. The problem is that I just got behind on Assassin's Creed. I was one of the people who played Assassin's Creed 1 and I'm one of the people who continually tells people, "Yes, I know it's repetitive. Play it anyways." It's fun. You want the storyline. The storyline is good. Honestly, like I said, Black, Black Flag and Rogue are... They are beautiful. Yeah. Like Black, Black Flag is one of the most fun games. Assassin's Creed or not. Well, this like, is, Assassin's Creed stuff is just filling compared well, to the other stuff. this was the problem. It was that I played Assassin's Creed 1. I played Assassin's Creed 2. I, I played Brotherhood. So I'm... I was about... I forget how much. Like, 90% through Brotherhood. And my friend, who also had Brotherhood, calls up and he goes, Hey, have you tried the multiplayer? And I went, No. And he goes, Dude, it's awesome. You should be playing it. So I said, Oh, okay. So I played the multiplayer, and then by the time we finished playing the multiplayer, went, You know what? I can't remember what the storyline is on this one. Oh, crap. I said, I can't remember what the storyline is so far, but I don't want to go back and redo it to figure it out, so I'll just play it later. Hmm. And that was my undoing. There we go. But yeah, it was, um, they're a really good series of games. I just can't be bothered to go and try to figure out what the, what's going on with the storyline. Also, I have a major, problems with, a major problem with <coughs> aliens. I just, I have major issues with that. And anybody who's beaten two understands. Mako, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, it starts getting stupid like that. I really liked all of the conspiracy theory stuff they were doing with the with religion, stuff like that. It was done really well, and then all of a sudden, aliens. And I went, eh. It's honestly, I like. I, I I'm one of the few people who actually did like the uh, the way they approached in, with without providing spoilers. Four takes a com four or Black Flag, if you like, takes a completely different tack that the previous ones did because it's got a different pr different protagonist. Yeah, and I liked it because of that because you are inside like Abstergo. Yeah, that's why I've gathered. Like, I work at a video game store. Believe me, I understand what's going on in the storyline because people talk to me about it. Mm. Um, and I just, I just liked, liked the setup because it was fun to do. I mean, they've, they're a really great series of games, um, and especially after they fixed the uh, repetitive, repetitive nature of one, uh, when they hit two, things have just continually gone up for the series. So, it's good, it's just, I just... Assassin's Creed is a game that I want the, to know the storyline of, and I don't feel like catching up on it. That's that's all it is, actually. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just, I'm just compared to Unity, I want Rogue more, and for reasons that I've never been able to understand, uh, uh, Ubisoft could not find their PC department 
department that they were looking for their ass with both hands. It's because it means they have to pay two times the people. I mean, we'll get it eventually. They have sort of... They, they, they know that they should do it. It's just they don't know enough to do it right. Yet. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll happen. I mean, I'm not worried about it happening. Just It's just one of those things, you know? Mm. Lord knows there are more than enough games to keep people oh, like oh, you crap. and me busy. Okay. Lord knows there are more than enough games to keep people like you and me busy until in, in the interim. Until the end of time, really. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing Inquisition until the end of time. That's what I keep on hearing. <laughs> you have to go into Inquisition assuming you're playing Skyrim, because that's the level of time commitment you're talking about. Oh, it's worse than that. <laughs> so I just want to point out that I did that in one go. Nice. I haven't, and I haven't been able to do that on that type of level in a while, so mm. I, I feel particularly happy. God damn it! <laughs> I did get it! I did get it in one go! <laughs> I did get it in, I did actually beat the level in one go. I got all the teensies in one go, but apparently I missed two things. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's, there's plenty of, uh... There's plenty of games to play, so that's that's never going to be an issue, I don't think. But actually, I'm probably going to start going back to some like Game Boy Advance games soon. Well, I know I dug out a bunch of my SNES stuff lately, and I've been I've been organizing my collection, so I've been had reason to pick up all my older games as I sort of reshelve them for uh, I know inventory. Yep. I do that every so often, just because I'm kind of curious what I have. So I have like a ton of just PS2 games sitting back here and stuff like that that I could be playing. Mm. But it's, you know, I kind of want to play some of the new stuff I have. I don't... The thing is, it, it's a rare game that has me wanting to do a replay. So, and there are some, you know, Kingdom Hearts and Golden Sun and Skies of Arcadia, which I keep on playing. Like, some of these games I play over and over and over, but it's not oh, yeah. common. Uh, for, for me, I mean, Earthbound is a big one for me. Lufia and Lufia 2 are actually common ones for me to replay fa fairly regularly. I actually have Earthbound on my Wii U now, and I've been... So do I. I. I need to play it now. Have you never played it originally? I didn't. I never played it originally. Well, we're going to have to fix that. It's <laughs> like, it's one of the... Don't don't make promises to my viewers, please, because they want that. They'll want that to happen. <laughs> I make no promises for Nye, but I am going to force him to try it at some point, just for his own benefit. Well, I know it's good. Don't get me wrong, I know it's good. There, I, There's no doubts in my mind that it is a good game. I just don't know if I have the time. Hmm. That's kind of the problem. Okay. Is Am I good? I'm good. Okay. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. I'm just fine. I'll be 13 over. Hmm. Huh. Teensies are worth 25. Oh, huh. Yeah. Oh, the, these teensies are worth 25. I could have sworn that the regular ones are usually worth about 10 or 15. They might be. There, there, there wasn't any way I could have gotten more than I got, I don't think. Okay, time for Murray of the Deep. Now it's boss mode. And I don't remember how this boss goes at all. Uh, that is a good question. Uh, let's go ahead and restart sequence, because I think I already screwed up the, uh... You already screwed up the, uh, Lum sequence. Yeah. And I think the entire point of this fight is that you're supposed to get all the Lums first. Because I don't think you have any chance to get them afterwards. Oh god, if I remember correctly, this is like the big... The big dragons... Dragon underwater thing. Yeah, but if you also recall correctly, I got it in the first try last time. I'm free! Well, okay. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna wait. Okay. Well, I screwed that up. Okay. <coughs> yeah, you do remember correctly. That is what this is. This is the big dragon thing. You missed a whole bunch of lumps down there. Yep, okay. Well, let's... See if I can... I, can, I don't know if you know, I, I can even get to that now. Uh, uh, no, okay. Okay. Yeah, it, this just front loads you with lumps and crap. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Here we go. Uh, he's here. Ah, yes. Oh, crap. Okay, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. You can see all the others, all the, all the fish just Everything else off. is running away. And you're sitting there going, oh, it must be this big thing behind me. Nope. 
No, it's not those. Those are decidedly uh, not what it is. Okay, there's all of the uh, teensies. Yay! Not even bother getting that up there. Let's get that. Dodge that crap. Things are moving. And up we go. Bye! And you're like, yay, I'm free, I survive, nothing bad will happen. Scree! And there's Murray. Actually, maybe I didn't get this the first try, I can't remember. No, you 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 got mangled the first couple times you did this one. Did I? Uh, why did I not hit that? I don't know. You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw that. It there we go. It withdrew at the very last minute. You're gonna going to fall short on lums. I might. I forget how many he gives you. Okay, where's his next one? On his tail again, I think. Oh, and I got chomped. Okay, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember. It might be on his tail every time. Okay, we're just gonna wait patiently. This is the thing should be there already. Yep, he just spawned. Oh, those hurt. Okay, well that was dickish. I. I yeah, you're right. This wasn't the boss I beat the first time. I forget which boss that was. There was a boss that I beat the first time. Okay, got the first one. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Murray. Okay. Stay on the inside, the inside curve. Except he's not going to stay on the inside curve. That's fine. Where is it? Okay. All right. Okay. He just spawned it on his tail again. Okay. Oh, and I get hit. And ah! I hit his foot. Hmm. <laughs> you clipped it, but yeah. The hit detection's kind of a pain in the ass, I think. Hmm. Yep. Got him. Okay. Next. So I want to say on his inside curve this time. Yeah, I might fall short. Possibly. If you do, you're gonna have to do this again. Dear God, do I hope not. Okay. No, don't do that. God damn it. Did you spawn it already, please? Got him. And you get a heart for it. Yeah. Oh, right, it's his mouth. Ah. Uh, I forgot. That's the one I got the first time, is I just saw that and I went, oh, okay, it must be his mouth. Okay, well, just wait patiently. Oh, right, because that, that thing comes out, right? You're not allowed to do that. Okay. And I get hit by that immediately, and he despawns it. Come on. Got it. I don't like this level. I don't like this level at all. No, no, no. Stop spawning things. Okay, waiting patiently for him to spawn his tail thing. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, he spawned his tail thing. No! Damn it! Stop doing that! He despawned it. And now I'm not in a position where I can hit it. And I get eaten. That's dicks. You can't move fast enough. I don't think I had this much trouble with him the first time. No, you didn't. Yeah, I... Okay. Hit the, hit the thing once. Alright. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we're gonna fall short. <sighs> I think I can safely do this, though. Okay, his thing's gonna spawn. And he's gonna despawn it because I can't reach it fast enough. Because you have to already be on his inside curve in order to make that happen. Ah. 
I'm not happy about this. I mean, yes, this is the last guy in the world, so this is the end of the episode anyways, but I'm really not happy about how long this is taking. Hmm. Especially considering the fact that I may have to do it again. Okay, he comes down. No, I'm over here. He goes around once. He goes around twice. Now I want to be over here. And you see this jellyfish bullshit just getting in the way? Just like, oh hey, so I'm just gonna be here causing problems for you. Okay, now I get over here. Come on. And you get punched. Yeah, I'm short by 11. So we're gonna have to do this again. I, yeah, I don't think I get any extra at the end. That's right. Damn. Oh, I do get some. I get five more. I'm short by six. <laughs> yep. Okay. We did get the platinum, though. Got five lucky tickets. Let's go actually do that right. What is this nonsense? I've just been linked some interesting news. Oh? Right, I'm trying to scroll down on it. How? So, apparently, Paramount Pictures has just put out the order to no longer show the movie Team America in theaters. Yeah, I heard about that. That is... that is some kind of stupid. Uh-huh. I don't like that film, but that's still stupid. I I think it's funny. I Mostly Why are you leaving their purples behind? Because Something. I wanted to make sure that heart didn't despawn. Okay. Um me and my friend typically quote it. Like it's Yeah, I, I, I even I know the quotes from it. It's just I just I'm Canadian, I don't really do the whole America thing. Other side. Well other I mean, side. You, you understand that <laughs> we, we that's not what we quote. Like, at all. Like, what we typically quote is, like, oh, what's a good example? Uh, we uh, we used to we used to go airsofting a lot, mm -hmm. so our battle cry was, uh, especially if we had to play anything that was, like, uh, when we had to, like, you know, counter-strike terrorists, stuff like that, our battle cry was typically Durka Durka. Like, it would be shit like that. That's what we would do, because we understood how stupid that is. Like, we, we, we enjoyed the, you know, oh, stupid Americans com uh, concept. So, okay, I'll just be stuck behind rocks. That's fine. Um, all right, then. So, I'm dead. Okay, we gotta do it again. Yeah, that, that's the type of stuff we enjoy. Um, we just enjoyed it for exactly how stupid it was. That seems to be the whole point. Yeah. That was that was the point. It was how stupid can you make Americans look? And we and we were cracking up at the concept of oh, this god damn it. We were cracking up at the oh, this stupid. Like that was that was the idea for us. So we really enjoyed this for that. But uh, apparently there's there's more to the story, but the problem is I'm playing, so I can't really see what the rest <laughs> of the story is. I think it's technically in relation to the whole uh, what was it, the interview thing? Yeah, I have no idea. Like, I'm not caught up on anything. I don't pay attention to any of this stuff. Uh, neither do I, really, but, like, I, I, I catch wind of these things by proxy, so... Yeah. That's exactly how I do it. I have, I have a, no idea what this was. And my... God damn it. I know I have to get, like, a, a very large amount of lums out of this in order for this to actually work. Mm. And I keep on somehow screwing it I up. I don't know why you are having so much trouble with this. I'm fine. It's the... If I go any further than this spot, like, right here, the chase scene starts. And so I'm trying to make sure I get everything before that starts. Okay, got you. Okay, so we're at 85 now. I think that 87 as soon as I pick up that. Grab these. I think it's if I go for that coin, the chase scene starts like that. It's one of these. One of these things right here. Is it these? 
It's these. Okay. If I go for these, the chase scene starts. And I was going for something over here, and uh, I got caught out. I'm not sure what it was. But I got trapped under rocks trying to save that teensy, for example. Mm. Don't ask me why I got trapped under rocks trying to save that teensy. I don't get it either. Yeah, part of the thing is I missed that coin the first time, and that is part of why I got so screwed. Like, the first time. Uh, nope, no, no, no. Okay. Those are lost forever. Okay, we got it. We're you got enough. Yeah, you, 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 you survived to beat the boss, and you will have enough. Yeah. So let's, um... So what is this about the interview? I'm, I'm just glancing over this news article and I'm seeing the, the Sony. Okay, but... you are familiar at least with the fact that that Sony got hacked. Moderately. Part of the like I, I know think... Sony got hacked like two years ago. Is this something new? This is something new. Just okay. just recently they got hacked again. Again, okay. But it wasn't like it wasn't like the Sony Sony network. It was like the executives rather. Oh, okay. For, like, did, uh, I, understand that I'm not an expert on this thing, so this is something. This, this is best as best I understand it. They got hacked, and there was a great degree of threat threatening involved, saying, "Don't release this film, or else, whatever or else happens to be, I have no clue." And it seems that they have decided to acquiesce to this to this agreement. And the interview, as I understand it, involves some guys posing to create an interview to assassinate a world leader. I don't know. I don't. Not my kind of film to begin with, so I don't pay attention to it. But okay. I mean, this is all going to be old news by the time this episode airs, anyways. But... Probably. Yay! We just want a creature. Okay, folks. So we're going to get all of our lucky tickets out of the way, but we have just finished the penultimate world, as far as I'm aware, unless there is a. Um, land livid dead in this, which I'm not yeah. sure if there is. Don't think so, because there was probably the boss. Because you remember what you unlocked a while back. Yeah, I'm almost willing. To, I'm almost willing to bet they will make you fight the boss again, just for form's sake. But I don't think they'll make you do the level because it was one really big level. I really hope they do. It is my sincere hope that they make me do the level. Again. <laughs> okay. That's more creatures. So we're getting really close. We're, uh... I'm surprised that you have not won more teensies from these things. Yeah. I think there's some other way you're supposed to get all these teensies. I mean, not teensies, um, lums. Hmm. The teensies, I think we've gotten all the teensies we're gonna get out of this. Because, uh, the next world is gonna be in the So, there's a total of 52 remaining. So, All right. The next well, first things first. Go and take. Go and let's, get let's your. Go, uh, let's go get my creatures. Your creatures and see what you. That's complete. Ta da! And that's complete. Ta da! And that's not complete. Still not complete. And bottom row. So we're, I mean, we're getting there. Um, you know, of course, the next world will take care of it completely, because if it doesn't, there's a problem. But how many spots do we have left open? We have one, two, one, two three, three, four, four, four five, six. Five, six. Uh, about six. And there's only, this... there's only so many more levels, and we've unlocked all of the uh, right back to Origins levels at this point. Hmm. So... Okay, folks, when we return, we'll be finally heading into one of my favorite worlds, Mystical Peak. We'll see you soon.